We may distinguish two main categories of urban form in ancient Greek and Roman cities. One that was dynamically produced and unplanned, and one that was regularly produced and was the result of urban planning. Most ancient Greek cities were located at sites where earlier settlements were formed, and early ancient Greek cities, say of the 7th and 6th centuries BC, were similar to earlier settlements in that they presented the form of a village. In most cases, there was an acropolis, that is a fortified natural stronghold, in order to protect the city during periods of war. The organically developed cities had the advantage that it was difficult to conquer them, as the irregular layout was full of surprises to the enemies, an advantage that Aristotle mentions also. These advantages were that since these cities were developed with no preconceived plan, their streets were narrow and could not accommodate heavy traffic. So the street that was going from Keramikos to the Acropolis in Athens could not accommodate two wagons at the same time. Also, there was no water infrastructure for supply and wastewater, which made such early cities quite non-hygienic. A new sense of spaciousness, which took into account issues of water management and hygiene, was created in cities that were built during and after the 5th century BC, either built after a major destruction, for example Miletus in the second half of the 5th century BC and Piraeus, or were newly founded at this time. It is thought that this regular orthogonal planning with parallel streets and regularly shaped city blocks was first put in place at Miletus and was a concept of Hippodamus, after whom it is named, the Hippodamian system. The general principle of the Hippodamian system is not only that the city is laid out regularly, but also that its functions are correspondingly serviced in a rational manner. Aside from the Acropolis, there exist three gravitational points around which a city develops. The religious, political and administrative, and the commercial. These three points of convergence usually formed the gravitational center of a city. But for various reasons, for instance the location of a city next to a harbour, uh, may lead to such centers being at what may seem the periphery of a settlement and its border. For instance, the marketplace of Athens, the Agora, the political, economic and administrative centre of the city, was located within the city walls, close to the Acropolis, the religious centre of the city, near the heart of the settlement. In a city like Delos, on the other hand, the sanctuary and the marketplace is clustered next to the area of the main harbour at the maritime border and front of the city. The Hippodamian system was primarily put in place after the 1st century BC in cities founded by Alexander the Great and his successors, primarily the Seleucids, a period that after the death of Alexander in 323 BC is called the Hellenistic period. The Hippodamian system was also put in place in new cities and colonies of Rome. Prime examples of the Hellenistic period include Alexandria, Rhodes and Dura Europos. Later, the marketplaces and central thoroughfares of the city were framed by colonnades, or stoe, which provide a monumental character to the city. For example, the Agora of Athens was monumentalized during the Hellenistic period with a series of colonnaded facades, framing the central square. During the Roman period, two central thoroughfares assume great importance in the city's plan. The Cardo Maximus, a north-south oriented road, and the Decumanus Maximus, an east-west oriented road, in the intersection of which the city centre is thought to be located. And colonnades are further employed in order to accentuate their importance. Examples include the cities of Antioch and Palmyra. A combination of the two kinds of urban form, the planned and unplanned, is seen in cases where the existing plan of an organically grown city is kept and the city develops on the basis of an Hippodamian system. This is the case at Olynthos in the later 5th and 4th centuries BC and in Pergamon, the capital of the Hellenistic kingdom of the Attalids in Asia Minor, where the city develops regularly at the lower slopes of the Acropolis and accompanying monumental civic complexes. The regularization of urban form started in the 5th century BC and is thought to be the invention of Hippodamus of Miletus. The orthogonal layout was then perceived by Aristotle and probably conceived to represent democratic values of the city and its citizens. 
In the Roman period, it was employed to rationally organize the city, including its major thoroughfares. Such regular planning had also practical advantages as it easily accommodated water infrastructure and waste management and facilitated the monumentalization of urban front through the construction of colonnaded streets.